ZNFU is one of the oldest associations in Zambia apart from the churches. The ZNFU has existed under various names almost since the first large-scale farms were established in the eastern province of Zambia in the early 1900s. Records show that the Farmers Association existed in the eastern province as early as 1905. Before independence in 1964, the ZNFU was called Rhodesia National Farmers Union. After independence, the name became Commercial Farmers Bureau. By 1992, this name had become outdated and misleading. Until independence, the membership had been almost entirely confined to large-scale farmers. Since then, there has been a steady growth of small-scale farmers' membership. This accelerated in the early 1980s, encouraged by a policy of keeping the annual subscription at a low level and by an entry qualification which accepts any person or organization engaged in the business of farming in Zambia. The name was therefore changed in 1992 from Commercial Farmers Bureau to Zambia National Farmers Union. As ZNFU, our mission is to promote and safeguarding the interests of members as farmers, individuals, corporations, companies and other organizations involved in the business of farming in order to achieve sustainable economic and social development. Small-scale farmers. These are farmers that are yet to mechanize and yet largely contribute to the country's food security. Currently, there are over 400,000 small-scale farmers who are registered members of the union. Emergent farmers. These are farmer members that have graduated from small scale and have mechanized the business of farming. These can be categorized as farmers in between small and large scale with membership of slightly over 5,000. Large scale farmers. These are farmers that are highly mechanized and conduct business on purely commercial basis. These are farmers that mostly cultivate or grow crops such as wheat, soya, tobacco, to mention but a few, with a membership base of about 1,000. Corporate members. These members belong to what is known as the ZNFU Corporate Club and deal directly with the ZNFU head office. These are that could be involved not only in agro products at raw level but also agro processing. Although corporate members are a different category of ZNFU membership, they are encouraged to interact with local district farmer associations and commodity associations. In total, there are 43 corporate members. Commodity or specialized associations. These are association members specialized in a particular commodity or activity. Currently, there are 19 such members. Agribusiness Chamber In January 2004, the Agribusiness Chamber of ZNFU was proposed to and endorsed by the agribusinesses. The Chamber formed an additional category of the ZNFU membership. Members of the Agribusiness Chamber are diverse and cut across processors, traders, and service providers. To date, there are 23 member affiliates to the union. With this scenario, ZNFU embraces the A to Z industry coverage, representation, and national footprint. The ZNFU is a highly democratic organization driven by membership-based structures, which is the union's highest policy-making body. Farmers are represented on the council by elected chairpersons from their respective district farmer associations. Commodity and specialized associations are also represented on the council. A board oversees the operations of the Secretariat, which discharges lobby and advocate issues on behalf of farmers. The main functions are lobby and advocacy to push for a conducive agricultural policies that would make agriculture in the country thrive. In 2010, the GRZ increased ground rates by 1,000%. This would have resulted into the cost of conducting agricultural business extremely astronomical. 
the union also lobbied for the protection of the wheat industry against highly subsidized cheap imports in 2009. Three years down the line, this has seen Zambia become the only southern African country to be self-sufficient in wheat. Due to its strong lobby and advocacy, the union has become a strong referral organization on agricultural matters by not only the government but cooperating partners, regional farmer organizations and the private sector as well. ZNFU has survived under five different government regimes but remained steadfast in its beliefs and tenets. The ZNFU also provides services and facilitation activities such as e-extension services and through the provision of market and trade information. This is a system which, through the website, Farmers are able to access information on commodity prices, livestock services, among others. The ZNFU has also pioneered and promoted conservation agriculture, which is now being practiced by over 250,000 farmers covering about 500,000 hectares. ZNFU also offers input access for small-scale farmers under the Lima Credit Scheme facility. Presently, there are over 5,000 farmers on the Lima Credit Scheme involving some 10 million US dollars. We also offer a credit facility called the Zambia Emergent Finance Facility with the collaboration of the Zambia National Commercial Bank. Outreach This is a critical wing of the union that enhances inter- and intra-communication with all its membership and partner categories such as individual farmer members, purveyors, government line ministries and cooperating partners. This is done through the mixed media such as the monthly Zambian Farmer magazine, weekly Friday briefs, internet or website information access and now the Farmer Television program. Our information communication technology provides market information intelligence through the mobile phone's short message system which we call 4455 to some of our internet disabled members. We also provide information on availability of transport and loads on our e-transport internet based system. Out of all its principal functions, the ZNFU is renowned for being an all-embracing, objective, proactive lobby and advocacy organization for the entire and divergent Zambian agricultural family. ZNFU is an umbrella organization which embraces small-scale, emergent and commercial farmers with a divergent mix of black, white and colored membership. With the unity and single but loud voice, Zambian agriculture is tipped to grow further with 40% of the water bodies flowing through the country and thousands of tracts of arable land ready to be nurtured.